Hello, beloved, and welcome to your message from the big G-O-D, okay? God himself, I thank you so much for your time. I thank you for joining me. Thank you for tapping in, okay? Why were you presented with this message by your own YouTube algorithm? Why were you led here, okay, intuitively, spiritually? Let's find out, okay? God, what do you have, okay? What do you have in store? Let's see. What do you need us to know, Father? Talk to us all, please. Let's talk to God. So, instantly I'm being hit with this energy of pure glorification. Being purely glorified. Yeah, Ten of Cups. A form of idolization is glorification of another human being. So I feel like this is the energy permeating your message. I feel that in your reality, you have been blessed with with a certain type of anointing here. Queen of Pentacles here. You've been blessed with the anointing to have foresight, vision, vision, okay? I feel that you have direct vision of right directions that are to come so you don't get lost. So I feel like you've never really been lost, even if you thought you were. I feel like you were more found than lost. Because each time you felt lost, what came out of the loss was greater than the loss itself here. I hope we we together, right? So clearly there's some form of spiritual progression that has been bestowed upon your life due to your own good deeds, beloved. Your good doings are bringing mesmerizing gifts of prophecies upon your life. You're going to begin to feel differently about life. The chariot. So we have Piscean, Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, as well as Gemini. In life, your life in particular, I feel like you've earned your stripes. So much so that the anointing that has been placed upon your life is, is reaching a peak level that is about to propel you to your next destination, if you get what I'm saying. So basically, take for instance, you've been doing the right things. You've been trying to find and seek God in the right ways. You've been trying to lessen the rebel within you so that the good within you wins. You've been trying to do good. You've been trying to be on the good side, right? And I feel like God is pleased. God is saying he's pleased. God is saying... Your repent game is heavy and strong, beloved, okay? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful stuff. Okay, we have Five of Cups here, Scorpio energy, we have the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy, and then we have the Four of Pentacles, 
earth. Okay. We have the wheel of fortune. We have the five of pentacles. Four, five. See, there's progression here in your life. You, you, are, pro, you are progressing. Like there's been a level of... I feel like you're, tip, you're, you're being tapped into a new level of life, new heights. That I feel like your ancestors are propelling you. It's sort of like being pushed. I feel that things might be moving, either slow-paced, fast-paced, usual pace, unusual pace. But each of those paces that your life is going, making sense or not making sense, it's taking you there exactly where you need to be the destiny what's destined for you your everyday daily basis life takes you there so every day you are closer one step closer to exactly where you need to be making where you are now the precision of your process you are precisely at the right place right time to receive and be equipped for what's ahead of you, beloved. That's what I mean by that. Precise. Precision and process. That's how God works. And when I see, you know, when you're heavily anointed, God's do God does too much when it comes to you. In good and in bad ways, it's just, it be, it's a lot to deal with. But because of the anointing, Ten of Cups, the anointing is what brings clarity to why the bad was so bad. And therefore, with the Ten of Cups, the, the chariot here, the progression taking place in your life is heavy, beloved. Because I feel like you are destined to be elsewhere. Elsewhere where there is a kingdom, a commune, community, love. Yes, that's what God is saying. That's why you tap in. You're being fed this information to equip you, to bring you closure, clarity, and warmth in your path right now, your spiritual process, your life process, your life journey. So what I'm seeing here is that Your journey of life required you to sacrifice a lot. Either habitats that you were used to. A habitat is a place of staying, restoration, a place where you felt you belonged. You had to let go of a lot of those things to really seek the truth of what is destined for you. And I feel that every day you, you, you find the value of what you do and why you're doing it. And it makes it easier to keep going because God keeps proving you right. And therefore, everyone in your reality sees it as well. You are living in the same realm as the Holy Spirit right now, beloved. It's like you're existing in the vibration that allows you to Purely be magical in your own reality and not be judged for it. You remember when it was hard for you to, to be anointed in a world where there were a lot of, still are, a lot of faceless people. No identification of soul, no identification of their own spirit, not spirits of the world, self. First, there are people who lack that and still do. You had it to the fullest. There was no lack in your embrace of your anointing. You went all in with that. Even when others would push you over the edge to doubt what you do, it was easy for you to bounce back because of the belief, the faith you had in God to bring you back resurrect you each time time and time again i come back motherfuckers 
yeah that's your energy i'm just the channeler here right <laughs> but hey this came at a price you had your sacrifices that you had to make on the sidelines when you were handling the spiritual warfare, when you were handling all your other responsibilities of life you had also all of these burdensome habitats which were your places of comfort your comfort zone zones because you have had many of those right those were what kept you stagnant and not wanting to see what's on the other side because you were comfortable not that there was nothing awaiting you on the other side or there is nothing on the other side for you it's just that you were comfortable with where you were at god needed to shake things up a little bit just a tad right and then bring you back again <laughs> as he always does he will forever resurrect you for whatever you're going through right now in terms of your anointing is his plan the anointing of your life your uniqueness what makes you different what makes you stand out like a sore thumb a prick if i may say so myself that's what you used to be in the past a prick because people just didn't want you around you were too different now the timelines are different we're in a different time span as humankind now the different people are the ones that are most needed <laughs> we hear now we are embraced praised now there is a level of intrigue curiosity that people have upon us as spiritual beings right everyone in the spiritual community feels it we feel the power of power coming back we feel the resurrection of the truth of who we really are being seen in the eyes of man human beings humankind my collective ah oh, oh, you see what i'm saying you guys you guys have been going strong oh my god oh my god i'm proud of you guys i see you i feel you that's how i see you i feel you i keep reading for you i feel you you guys are my collective you belong to me we are one I love you all of you with sincerity okay let's proceed here seven of swords reverse next to the five of cups here it's like all the bad deeds right all the bad deeds that people threw your way have backfired upon them now it's like exactly that it's like that's why the seven of swords is, is reversed this is a card of pure deception the purest form of being the trickster the the nature of tricks so when it's reversed it's in its detriment it's not working out for these people it never has now has it now if we're being honest and we look at life for what it is and see that all the time it seemed they were winning against you or they had you where they wanted you it was merely an illusion placed by the holy spirit god almighty upon your life to prevent you from really falling into the rabbit hole that was meant for these people for their deeds because with the seven of swords reversed here it's very clear what people wanted to do to you what they wanted for you and what they were wishing against you the weapons formed oh that's the seven of swords reverse gemini energy in its lilith its bad side it's just the energy it's just energy okay allow it to flow love it allow it to flow you've been doing that even with these deceptions these 
these games people have been playing. Seven of Swords, reverse, is significant here. I feel like a game has ended. A game that was being played has ended. And I feel like the backfiring is publicized, it's, it's gonna be televised. It's, it will be a revolution in its entirety for your reality. The backfiring of everyone's bad deeds against you will revolutionize your reality, beloved. You will never be the same. They bring another different beast. Huh. Right? Don't lie and say you're not feeling that power, man. Because this is your this is your message from the big GOD. I'm just a vessel. I'm just channeling. Take your power back. Everyone that reads for you, they are channeling your energy. You are the powerful ones. All of us. No one is above whoever, man. Unless it's rank. How close are you to God? That's something to boast about. Not nothing else. Not in my reality. Oh, again, this is for you here. This is you. This is your energy. Take it. Take your power, beloved. Allow the resurrection. All you've been feeling lately is the burdens of others being released from your human psyche. See, you have a spiritual body and a human body and your human body can easily be affected because it's not as strong as your physical, as your spiritual. I'm sorry about that. My bad. Therefore, in the human psyche lies dormant. A lot of triggers I see. You get triggered a lot. In your daily basis, you're okay. You, you're good, but you get triggered a lot. And God wants to end that. And in order to do so, he has to allow the backfiring to be seen by you so that the triggers are no more. So let's take someone doing death spells or someone planning your death or wishing it it being reversed would be them seeing you as the flyest earth angel that you are peeking peeking while you're at it having to watch you be filled with life would be the backfiring and you knowing it, seeing it in their eyes, the defeat, feeling it in spirit. That's what you're feeling. You're feeling their defeat. That's why their tug, energetic tugs are worthless. Because they rank and yours, man, it's like the scales are like this. They can't reach you with their energy anymore. They're too low vibration. No. That's what saves us. Our spiritual ranks. How good of a person are you on a daily basis when you're alone as well? Or are you scared of being alone because of what it brings out of you? See, people battle different things. Spirits. Traumas triggers past life transgressions our unevolved selves and what they keep making us do those are past life transgressions oh, fuck this. you know you're not supposed to do that you know it's better there's better but you just can't stop like a sex addict I feel that the bad people are going to be placed in spiritual rehab. Let's clear the energy. God is saying the time has come for all the bad people to be placed in spiritual rehab. So upon all the declarations those bad people have made upon their lives, don't forget these are egotistical people claiming, self-proclaiming who they are to the world and not doing it in 
God's grace or under his wing, claiming to be God or have the God power to do certain things with their free will, right? Those are the types of human beings we discuss in here. So these ego deaths with the tower that I just pulled, Scorpio energy. Oh, it's about to crumble. Everything is crumbling right now. All the lies, the projections, the magic, the negative thoughts, fantasies. This is some this is some masochist, sadistic, grotesque energy I'm feeling. Because you really had people trying to see you dead in your life. Not knowing, they didn't know. They themselves, those little devils, they had no idea the anointing that had been placed upon your life. They're playing around thinking you're doing it, but they have no idea that the person in control is God. The spirit of God permeates your reality. Oh, your reputation exceeds you, beloved. You have no idea what God does for you behind the scenes. You just see the outcome. But that doesn't mean the process shouldn't be acknowledged. You have no idea. You have a clue, but you have no idea. A lot of people try to come for you here, not a swords. Block every time. A lot of people trying to find out information about you that was not meant to be found out by their dirty little fingers, dirty, filthy little liars. Things happened, supernatural things, quote unquote. Those that are spiritual know what I'm speaking about. And I'm guessing as my collective, you already tapped in. God has been doing things. He wants us to know. So he's saying, I'm a, I'm a say. So some, I'm, I'm seeing a prophetic vision. It's coming to me as, as I'm channeling this. Give me one moment. My collective. Hmm. I'm seeing troops. You know, troops of people that gather meetings are held conversations are had text messages being sent amongst troops of people this is many so this is speaking of all the people you've loved and lived and what they did to you behind the scenes it's as if you had no idea you were great they showed you with how they were attacking you. It's like, I didn't know I was this protected unless I was attacked to this extent, right? Mm-hmm. That's the whole point. To know your protection so that you can say you're protected with truth, not ego, not wishful thinking. Truth, motherfuckers. Standing by it and living it. No fear. That's God-like. That's God-like. That's his energy. And to possess it in its truest form would be... Re it required you to release toxicity in your life, which you had to dead a lot of things. Death reversed. But a lot of things didn't want to be deaded. People didn't want to let you go. Energies held on. People kept holding on in forms of negative talking negative thinking about you still throwing that evil eye at you still wishing that death at you still feeling like they really need to see you fail for them to be okay how pathetic still still man so god gets tired too. I mean, he had to rest on the seventh day. The week, he had to rest. When that week ended and he put it all that work, he had to rest too. So God got tired of watching these people do these things to you. He wanted to put you in a position 
for your power to be seen by them by allowing them to attack you so that when you, he protects you you no longer have to say you protected they know it because the motherfuckers know what they were trying to do so you know when they look now they look with fear <laughs> the fear of god oh my god you know it you know it oh you should know it let's clear the energy one more round one more spiritual round please Bless me. Let's tap in. Talk to us, God. Hmm. Okay. See, I feel that you are a walking ghost to a lot of people right now. They didn't expect you to get this far, man. It wasn't expected. Death at once. Your survival of this life thing was not expected by many. They thought you you wouldn't make it. You, you were meek, weak, right? See what God did there, though. That underestimation was because of your kindness, your way of being was deceptive enough to lead people to thinking you were not strong enough. Do you understand that's how God protects you? He allows you to be seen as weak. That's how God uses you also to test all these people. So that when they end up where, right where he wants to be, it might be in your life, but that's it. He's using you. He's using you. You are just a vessel like myself. That's why you are part of my collective. You all belong to me. Oh, you should know that by now. Let's tap in here. Oh, those that resonate, of course. <laughs> those that are in alignment. Please, I don't got no dirty kids. No naughty kids. Hey, <laughs> let's go. So Ace of Pentacles here, a lot of growth, a lot of progression, a lot of elevation here. Elevation, I feel that God is elevating your physical matter. So God elevates you a lot in spiritual ways and in all aspects and forms when it comes to your spiritual rank, your spiritual journey, your spirituality. God does this, right? And sometimes it gets boring for you because... You want something else. I feel that God doesn't want you to get bored of his words. So he wants to shape things up in your life. He wants to bring forth new physical matter. So physical matter is everything down to a car, car keys, down to a dog, a dog house. You know, uh, physical matter is me as my human flesh self, as you too. So God is bringing upon all things you need in physical matter it's sort of like not bringing them in a form of oh here take it you manifest take it oh no 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 that's not how we do it god distributes so in in ways that he amps up i'm seeing the volume the the the, the frequency of your wavelength being increased you're going to attract a lot your abundance in physical matter is about to improve here. You're going to start attracting, even people. This could be your subscribers. This could be your followers. This could be work-related, career-based. You know, it's like being a salesman and all of a sudden 10 new clients because you just keep pitching in the right tone. I just feel like, you know what God is going to do, beloved? God is going to start showing off, not in just career, friends or people you can trust. People that won't let you down, no matter 
how much you wait on them to do so. They won't because they're not like that and they're not meant to be like that. You are destined for something else. So, beloved, that is it for me. With spiritual news, prophetic vessel, okay? The show of prophetic vessel, spiritual news to you, my collective. In Jesus' name, I release your spirits. Amen.